How's it? Captain Ginger Beard, yeah? So, this video is going to be about lures and lure choices as well as jigs for the three main areas that I fish. It's just more the luck, you know, trying to find the fish and that. It's great having a fish finder, but it doesn't help if you're not on the fish, you know? But if you close your eyes... Get started the video, shall we? Sea point. Start at sea point. Yeah, it's a good site. It's more for winter. Um, this past season, it looked great because of all the katonkel, but there was no yellowtail. I think there was only two yellowtail that was actually caught, and that was out of all the times everyone going out. So yeah, the fish could be at Robin Island. They could be at sea point, but most of the time I just stick to sea point. Robin Island is also quite a paddle. I think it's like eight k's. Um, whether you go from Big Bay or whether you go from Three Anchor side. It's hit and miss there as well. You could paddle all the way there to Robin Island, but the conditions have to be great. Because a few guys have gotten caught, they go out there, NSRI to go rescue them. What about the lures for Seapoint? The ones that did the most damage for me on the Katunko was this Halker 120 DD, the Pearl Pulcher. Now, as you can check, looks like he's been charred quite a bit. Let's just show you there. It's got this cool bleeding effect. So, when the fish bites it with its toothy and that, it rips it apart. You can get these from anywhere from 120 Rand at Tucker's Tackle. So these Hulk lures, very light, they metal, they're not plastic like the other ones, so you can throw them around. This has got a lot of sound to it, which is a good thing for when you're trolling as well. It's got great action, it's nice and small, and the hooks that come with it, they really pull open. Another one for Seapoint was the Chrome Pink Hulk as well. You'll see me using these a lot. You can check the good colors here. Also got a bit of scratch marks in that. As soon as that sun comes up and hits us, you're on. Also got good action. This one dives deeper than the 120s for some reason. I mean, you can see the size. So I caught, I think, one or two. Volker, Sorcerer. This is the Reddit. Okay, points too windy. We go to Simon's Town. It's a little bit more sheltered there. Good choice for Simon's Town if I had to go out. No matter what, but it'd be this tiny little guy. So I've actually caught on this one. I just changed this to one single inline hook. Uh, reason being, it's quite a small bait. These little trebles, this is the Rapala. I think this is the, like, it dies down to 1.5 meters, something like that. UV hot pink. Great color for basically Simon's Town and Cape Point. Anyway, with these hooks with the Rapalas, these tiny little ones, they if I can go like this, I'll basically pull it open, but I'll probably end up getting a hook in my hand. So that's why I just put on quite strong little inline hooks. It's a small bait, so if you get a yellow tail katunkel, that hook is going to come through, no matter what, he's going to get hooked. This is, yeah, this is the X-Rap 10, so this goes down to, I think, like, also 2 meters, something small like that. That dives down shallow. Or go for the Hulker, the Pulcher. Oh, you can hold one of these bad boys out. This is also a Parler X-Rap uh, Magnum 10. Very good. I think this is the Wahoo color, one of my favorite colors. The one guy, Reynu, um, he actually, this one he lives by, I've seen on his videos, he just catches Katunga on that. You could also troll the chrome pink around Simon's Town side. Not bad idea, it's, it's pretty good. But for Simon's Town, you want the smaller little lures. So instead of trolling one of these, I'd rather troll the Sorcerer. His macro running, I always take this guy with. You'll see in my old macro video and my new one, this bad boy, I don't know, it's just a super 36 gram pink jig. I think it's from Williamson, I'm not too sure. Put on a new hook, this guy, I caught the chucker or squid or calamari, as some of you call it. Caught the squid on it, caught macro, caught pulcher, flip. Anything I've caught on it. Someone says, hey, we're gonna go to Cape Point today, we're gonna go fish there, conditions are great. The first bad boy I take out, it's a 6 meter UV pink, it's the deep diver of Rapala, it's quite big if you compare it to the normal Hulker 120s. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit fatter as well. Quite a schlep to troll because your rods bend back double, oaks think you on with a fish, but then you just say, hey, I'm just trolling the goon. If you are a little bit fitter and that, you can troll one of these out and another lure, any one of these. Okay, either the Hulker Sorcerer dives 3 meters down, or the Hulker 120DD Chrome Pink. If I've got the Goon Art, this one, I'd rather go for the Shallow Diver. If the water's a bit dirty, it's always a whitehead or white redhead, as they call it. This is the Pink Tiger, Hulker Chrome Redhead. These ones are hard to come by. 
If you check Sean on kayak fish, his videos, he lives by these as well, with his Katunko. He's got his own secrets, but I won't reveal any of that. Everyone's got their own secrets. Maybe these don't work. I'm just trying to maybe try and get you to buy the wrong ones so that I catch any fish. You never know. No, I'm joking. These things do work. You can see on the videos. Pearl Bulchard, as you can see, it doesn't last that long, the color on that. This one's also pretty good. Caught my first yellow tail on this. This guy, jeez. This and the UV pink is the best thing that Rapala has ever made. Book something while you're trailing. If it's yellow tail, Kutunko, nine and a half times out of ten. That school follows him. They check, hey, what's happening? This guy's hooked. He's going nuts. They want to see what happens. You can reel in, you throw that fish in your hatch, then you spin, but by that time, that school's long gone. Or what you do, you reel the fish until it's maybe two and a half meters from the kayak, you set your drag a little bit, put it in the rod holder, and you start spinning there. And then most times you end up with two fish instead of one. If there's other guys around, and if I'm paddling and I check, hey, Scott over there, he's under the yellow. Clear up our trailing lines, just out of quarter, see if anyone comes behind you, and we start spinning. So with Tariq, he also, he hooked up like that. I went next to him and I just started jigging and I hooked up as well to yellow. That was the video when I lost it. And the first jig that I had, simple anchovy jig. You can check it's got a red eye. This thing's also got glow in the dark paint on it. You won't be able to see now, but I think that helps a little bit. And pencil jig. Yeah, you can see I've got those dress hooks again from Big Catch. Um, these things are flipping strong. Top water plugs, white plug, always good to start for. Um, you can even use it for casting from shore as well. Halco twisty. This one, I don't know if you can check. It's got that nice little flashy there, that little sticker. Cutback spoon. Paddle tails are good. Um, when Tommy's caught quite a few yellow tails. It's almost like a pencil popper. This is pretty good. And it's got that sound. And when you're trailing, you have your deep one for the kayak, closer to your kayak, maybe like 10, 15 meters out, and your shallow diver, okay? That one you have further back. So 12 weeks with this bloody brace. I would show you, with the brace. So leg up the whole time, cool green suckies. So yeah, basically six weeks on crutches, uh, no 50% body weight on the foot. And from there, I'll see if I can fish from the shore or something, get a video going, but that's basically it for now. So, cheers.